The city of Trieste, the main port of the Austro-Hungarian Empire until 1918, maintained strong commercial links with the land of the Nile, where Trieste merchants bought ancient artifacts big and small, which found their way into the city's museum's collections. Its Egyptian section, consisting of over a thousand items, is one of the main ones in northern Italy, providing a broad perspective on the civilization of ancient Egypt, as well as a strong educational value. Exhibits on display in the various rooms include bigger items, such as a granite sarcophagus, over six tons in weight, one in limestone and three in wood, plastered and painted, all three containing mummies and dating back to around 3,000 years ago. Other items consist of scenes about the adoration of the gods, the creation of the world, the weighing of the souls and deities protecting the deceased. The hieroglyphs repeat traditional ritual formulas and perpetuate the names of their ancient owners. Special attention has been paid to the three human mummies, one of which is intact, with its original bandages still in place. The mummies have been subjected to non-invasive CAT scans. This has allowed scientists to explore the bodies and mummification techniques, as well as to diagnose diseases, and in one case establish the cause of death. The anthropometric data from the scans were fed into a special software program, similar to those used by forensic police departments. This achieved the reconstruction of the faces of people who have been dead for over 3,000 years. The collection includes three steles and one pyramidion, a pyramid capstone, all of which are inscribed stone funerary monuments. Four excellent quality papyrus sheets with vivid inscriptions from a 15th century BC Book of the Dead and a very fine complete series of four canopic jars in Egyptian alabaster containing female vishyata. Thematic cabinets are dedicated to the main deities, sacred animals and zoo anthropomorphic deities. Ushabtis figurines, that is the deceased servants in stone, wood and faience, glazed earthenware from the 18th to the 30th dynasties. Three are of Pharaoh Seti I, and a rich array of amulets, comprising some examples of outstanding craftsmanship. The display of items from the Greco-Roman, Coptic, and Islamic periods conclude the overview of the different successive cultures which inhabited the area along the Nile.